the provincial government will hold its Provincial Heritage Day celebrations in Bushbuck Ridge. This year's Cultural Day celebrations come at a time when the country continues to record a high number of gender-based violence in the province as well as the country at large. For more on this, I'm joined by Amweli Masilela Amweli. Very good morning to you. What are some of the expectations as we observe Heritage Day? Indeed, uh, there's quite a number of issues that, were uh, that are expected to be uh, uh, engaged on here because we know that uh, South Africa is still uh, battling the issue of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic as well as the issue of gender-based violence as we have raised it. We know that uh, there are two runners uh, uh, from the Ngomazi area who have been running from Milipek to Gamtush who are trying to raise awareness about the scourge of gender-based violence. We know that the Nkomazi area is one of the, hot, uh, of the areas that have been identified as uh, hot spots, but also this Heritage Day uh, is used uh, to try and revive tourism, especially cultural uh, tourism here in the province of the Rising Sun. We know that already uh, some of the accommodation areas and entertainment uh, uh, venues are already packed because people are traveling from different provinces to the province of the Rising Sun. But I'm joined now by the acting premier, Vusi Shom, who is actually the MEC for safety and security in the province. MEC, if you can tell us what is the main message that you'll be driving home today as the country celebrates Heritage Day? First and foremost, let me say happy Heritage Day to all the people of the province and the entire country. The message that we are putting across today is to remind our people, particularly the young people, uh, about where we are coming from as diverse, diverse cultures and everything, including, you know, the discipline and respect. Also to touch base on the issue that is killing our province and the country, which is called the COVID-19. We are here today, as much as we celebrate our Heritage Day, just also to remind them to vaccinate. All of them that are due to vaccinate, they must vaccinate. We have brought the Department of Health today here. They are going to assist them. And also to look at the issue of the gender-based violence, as particularly on this area of Bushpark Ridge. We want to make an appeal to our people here who are here on this day, that we must fray, refrain from, uh, you know, abusing women and children and everyone who is abused, that uh, our people must make sure that we become a responsible nation, particularly in the province. Uh, you are talking about the issue of the uh, vaccination rollout. You were with the deputy president yesterday uh, uh, in terms of uh, when he was visiting the province on oversight uh, at the Matamo village. Looking into Pushpak Ridge where we are today, you are saying you brought in uh, the Department of Health. What are the people saying here? Are they hitting the call? Because one concern that was raised by the deputy president was that Bumalanga is one of the provinces that have a low proportion of adults that, have, that are fully vaccinated. Precisely, Masilela, what you are raising. For the mere fact that we, we are the last province in terms of vaccination, this event, we are going to make sure that we mobilize, encourage our people from the age of 18 years upwards to go and vaccinate and to refrain from the perception, uh, especially men, that when they uh, vaccinate, uh, there's something wrong that will go <laughs> about them and their manhood. No, vaccination has nothing to do with that. It has all to do, you know, to fight COVID-19 and to take you know, our country back to normal. As you are seeing other countries overseas, they are now going back to stadiums, uh, full force, without masks and everything. It's because more than 90% of them are vaccinated. So that as the province of this province, we must make sure that we contribute, you know, to the situation of this country. All right. Uh, Acting Premier Vusi Shonga, thank you very much for talking to us. That is the Acting Premier 
Vusi uh, Chong as well. Uh, he's also the MEC for Community Safety, Security and Liaison here in the Pumalanga province. But uh, Mpo, it's uh, very clear that there are two issues that will be attended to, uh, to here as much as uh, uh, different cultural groups will be performing, celebrating unity in diversity, uh, the issue of the, uh, the vaccine rollout as well as the issue of gender-based violence. They are saying that the government leaders will be using that, this platform to encourage or urge people to continue uh, taking their jabs as well as trying and also playing their part in ensuring that uh, the issue of gender-based violence is attended to. They must report all those cases uh, to law enforcement agencies, especially in the hotspots, as he has mentioned that uh, Bushpark Ridge and uh, the Bomazi area are one of the areas identified as hotspots. Uh, um, very well, let's uh, leave it there for now. Mweli Masilela bringing us uh, the latest as we observe Heritage Day from Bushbag Ridge in Mpumalanga. Some of the focal areas that he speaks to, including gender-based violence and uh, some of the solutions that will come with it throughout the course of the day.